Hi, in this video I'm going to do a few examples uh, subtracting integers with two color counters. Alright, so I'm using yellows for positives and reds for negatives. Whatever you're using you should write it down in the corner of your page somewhere. Um, so we're going to start off with positive 1 and then we're going to subtract positive 5. So first we're going to represent our first number and then we're going to take away the second number. If it's not obvious how to take away, um, what we'll do is we'll go back to the first number and we'll represent it a different way with the counters. Okay, so we'll start with positive 1, so that's 1 yellow. And we'd like to take away 5 yellows. Uh, now, I can't do that. So sometimes it helps me stay organized. When, as soon as I see that the question is going to need a different representation, I just try to write down what my goal is, which is to remove five yellows. That's what subtract positive five means when we're using counters like this. So what I need to do is I need to represent my positive one a different way. And to do that I'll think of zero pairs. So if I add a zero pair to here, this is still positive one. And as you do this, say to yourself, still positive one. And you can go back and check, do I have enough yellows to remove yet? Nope, not enough. I need five, I only have three yellows. Although it's still positive 1, it's not positive 3, it's just positive 1, because all this is 0. Uh, I've still got... it's positive 1, I don't have quite enough yellows yet. That is still positive 1, and now I do have enough yellows. So this, I've got positive 1, and now I'm going to do the subtraction. I'm going to remove 5 yellows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 take those away. And what remains after I remove them is my answer. So the answer is four reds or negative four. Okay, on to the next one. Positive six. Six yellows. and I want to remove positive five. If you take a second look at this, you may have noticed it right away. A lot of times people don't when they're in the middle of doing higher um, subtraction questions. This is just a six take away five. This is sort of a grade one math question. Um, but when you're in the middle of doing a bunch of integer questions, you don't always notice that. I've got six yellows. I want to remove five yellows, um, if you like. You can write that down. I feel like it's a lot less necessary on a question like this, though. Remove five yellows. Here we go. I'm going to do the subtraction. And there it is. So my answer, of course, six take away five is positive one. So that was an example where we didn't need to do a different representation. The obvious representation of positive six was perfectly good enough to take away positive five. Okay, next one, we'll just start with positive 2. Oh, just going back to this one, I would strongly recommend you think hard about what you need to do and think, can I do it? A lot of times people will way overcomplicate questions like this one, where you can just show it and then take it away. Um, and they'll add all sorts of zero pairs they don't need. Sometimes they do get the right answer, but they cause themselves a whole lot of extra grief. So show the first number, Say, do I have enough to take away here? If you do, just take it away. Don't add zero pairs until you know you need them. All right, back to the second one. Question, uh, positive two, we've got that out. And we would like to take away negative fives or five reds. So remove five reds. I don't have any yet, so I'm gonna need some zero pairs. So now I really do need the zero pairs. So, this still shows positive 2, and it's still positive 2, still positive 2, still positive 2. I'm going to keep doing this until I have enough reds to take away. Still positive 2, all of this is worth 0, and now I do in fact have enough reds, so I can remove, I can subtract negative 5 now. 
So I've done all this work, but I haven't done the subtraction yet. And the subtraction is going to be right here. I'm going to remove my negative 5. There. And so my answer to the subtraction is positive 7. As a final note here, I'd like to point out, sometimes I have students who have learned how to multiply and divide integers, and then who accidentally apply those rules to adding and subtracting. So I'd like to point out here, sometimes people think, well, well if I have two positives, my answer should be positive, but it's not necessarily when we're subtracting. Um, here we uh, do have, we're subtracting two positives, but the answer is positive, and here it isn't. Uh, here we have a positive, and we're subtracting a negative, the answer is positive. Um, so there's no similar rule. If you know the rule about multiplying and dividing, there's no similar rule for adding or, or subtracting. Depends on the magnitude of the numbers that you're uh, subtracting, um, whether your answer is going to be positive or negative. All right, good luck.